a bit under the weather this week. Um, got one of those like niggling cold scenarios. It's just there and doesn't really move. Doesn't go, doesn't become anything. It's just kind of mm. So lower energy today. But an exciting topic because once again, all of the beauty products have built up. New launches, stuff that's come through that brands want to show me and therefore I want to show you guys. Lots of newness and exciting beauty stuff. Let's crack on, I'll show you what I think is looking really promising. Let's start with a sexy one from Dolce and Gabbana. I'm noticing a real trend in beauty and makeup right now with the whole like millennial targeted makeup and skincare. So this um, launch from Dolce and Gabbana is called Millennial skin, so obviously targeting a lot a younger audience. Inside we've got three products in this like cardboard handbag. Too bad it's not a real one. And it's called Dolce Gabbana Millennial Skin. On the glow tinted moisturizer, SPF 30 PA++++. So super protectant. They sent me three shades, cream, sand, and natural. That looks super interesting actually. I have tried Dolce & Gabbana foundation in the past and to be honest I can't remember what it was like too much so it probably didn't really leave a lasting impression on me. Um, but I tend to wear CCs over foundations anyway because I do love my concealer so that's kind of what I use to blur out imperfections and I just use a CC on the rest of my face. So this, first impressions, is really nice actually. Super silky on the skin, it's blended right in, it's got a really beautiful glow about it. That's actually a little bit too light for my skin tone, but it feels lovely. So I'll definitely be interested in seeing how long that wears. Coverage is good as well. Comes in 10 colours, it's £38. And it says here that it's easy blurring, easy smoothing, easy hydrating, easy protection, easy blending just sounds like easy product in general it's also oil free which is nice um, but it seems super glowy and super hydrating so it'll be interesting to see how I get on with that one so next up something from Gucci um, this is their winter fragrance launch for 2018 they did send me Gucci bloom summer last year and it is gorgeous and the packaging was stunning so I'm really excited to open this up and see what's inside again a really nice box as well. It's called Natare de Fiori, I think. I mean, I don't speak Italian, but that would be my guess. Oh God, I mean, it's got its own, like, satin bed. <laughs> so Gucci. And it looks super su similar to the last year's one. Packaging does, anyway. It smells really similar to last year's one. Mm, okay, actually, I prefer this to the summer launch last year. This is, it's heedier, it's heavier, and I'm not a light, florally person anyway when it comes to scents. That's gorgeous. Okay, so we've got Rose, Osmanthus Flower, Jasmine, Rangoon Creeper, and Two Bros at the heart of the fragrance. And that launched in August, August 1st. Okay, so something really fun from the Yes2 brand. Um, I used their mask last year. They have some really cool masks that come in like powder sachets with little cardboard things. And you basically add at-home ingredients to the powders like water, honey, Greek yogurt and you mix them up and then it's like a topical mask and they're amazing. So it's nice to see that they've expanded their range into cleansing sticks and I have two here. This one's the Yes2 Coconut Ultra Hydrating Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. Oh, mouthful! And this one is the Yes2 Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. So with these you just take them onto your face, scrub them in and then massage in and rinse with water. I actually love I love a coffee scrub, they're really, really energising on the skin and I just love the smell. Um, and I did use already their um, tomato mask last year and I loved it so I think the cleanser will be really good. It's really, tomato is really good, it's got lots of um, enzymes in it to like brighten skin and like improve texture and tone. And the Yes2 brand is well known for being 95% uh, natural ingredients as well, really great for detoxifying. So they're cool and I imagine those will be super affordable as well because this brand always is. Okay, so this is something exciting from Creme de la Mer. Their deliveries are always super beautiful and this one was no different. It actually came with a silk scarf as well, which was gorgeous. And they've sent me this to celebrate their hydration toner, which is just incredible I love it it's, I just splash it into my hands and it's like the first step in your skincare routine you can use it in place of like tonics toners waters hydrating mists that sort of thing they've sent a little tiny bottle there as well what they've done is taken this tonic or this uh, hydrating lotion and infused it into sheet masks now I love a sheet mask I'm gonna find out how much these ones are because I imagine any sort of creme de la mer sheet mask is gonna be a little bit spenny John Lewis are selling this product in a box 
box. So you get six of the sheet masks for £120. I mean, I love Creme de Mer, it's obviously a luxury brand, and they're trying to target a younger audience with sheet masks, then I don't think that price tag is going to work very well. However, I bet they're brilliant. They're saying they're good for pre-makeup, a surge of luminous hydration pre-makeup, glow upon arrival for the world traveler, and a midday reset at your fingertips. Well, that's lovely. I mean, I bet they are gorgeous. I can't wait to try them, especially since I love so much the treatment lotion, but that is quite expensive. So here's a really cool brand that I've been watching for a while now, maybe about a year, and I've finally got my hands on one of their products. This is Neighbourhood Botanicals. They're a really cool indie skincare brand. They use really great, uh, high quality ingredients. All their skincare is synthetic free, vegan, all made in the UK, no silicones, um, free from nut oils. They sent me this uh, body oil and they hooked me in by saying it was like rubbing the scent of southern Italy, the Amalfi Coast and Aperol Spritz all over your body. I mean... Um, I have really enjoyed using this oil, um, I've been testing it for a while, it's super lightweight, but I love rubbing it all over my skin, it really does smell like an expensive Italian holiday. So also from Bo Neighbourhood Botanicals is the Daily Glow Facial Oil, again 100% natural, this one has Kiku, Kuki, I don't know, Kuki, Cucumber, Moringa, Orange, Grapefruit and Ylang Ylang. I love saying Ylang Ylang like that. So this is a lightweight silky oil to promote daily restoration, brightening and plumping. It has a zingy hit of powerhouse botanicals making a perfect morning serum to help you wake up. And also some of the ingredients in here it says helps our natural antioxidants and help protect the skin against environmental uh, baddies like free radicals. Um, they've also addressed on the back here a myth which a lot of people don't understand especially if they have oily skin they're afraid of using oils on the face because they feel like it's gonna make their skin more oily but they've written it here on the back and I know this to be true as well. Facial oils will naturally curb the greasy levels or like levels of oil on your skin. If you add an oil into your skin root care routine and make sure it's one that's right for your skin obviously but it will actually stop your skin from producing as much oil and help maintain a healthy pH balance on the face. So a lot of us might now be thinking about getting our body prepped and ready for our holidays or you might be post holiday and your skin's a little bit dry and so you're thinking about maybe a sh in shower or in bath exfoliant this just came in from skin and tonic london i absolutely love this brand i discovered them in Croatia about three years ago now. Um, they had a tiny little boutique on an island that I was visiting called Aubignon and I fell in love with their products and um, I've been on their mailing list ever since and they always send me uh, what's new. They're British, they're organic and they're sustainable so reasons to love them obviously. And this is their new sea salt body scrub and the smell of this is insane. When I opened the package up I was just overwhelmed with the most dreamy scent. It's bergamot rose and spearmint so soothing uplifting refreshing all at once so this is their um revitalizing and soothing body scrub it also it's mineral rich it's also restores hydration in the skin with all the beautiful oils but it's also going to slough away all the dead skins so i think this brand is incredible i love what they do and their products are great especially if you are into natural skincare in fact a lot of the stuff i'm talking about today is natural which is great. Also Atlantic sea salt which is what this contains is also great for circulation as well so that'd be good on like stubborn areas of cellulite that um, you might have around the bum or thigh area so amazing. I can't wait to give this a go. It smells amazing. So many of you might already know this brand. I personally had like kind of heard of it but I'd never ever tried any of the products before until they did a rebrand this summer and it's certainly done the job. I think the products are beautiful. I'm talking about Dr. Robot which which is a Australian skincare brand and um, they've sent me a few of their stuff through to try out. I haven't tried it all yet but I, what I have tried is the healing mask. Now this is a turmeric, manuka honey and avocado oil mask and it's bright orange <laughs> but it is so good. Uh, my skin loved this stuff. It was felt really hydrating, um, nourishing on the skin especially since I've been away a lot. My skin's been in the sun um, but also like really like brightening and energy as well to the skin so I totally love this. Other things that they've sent me to try are the two-in-one mask and scrub. This has jojoba beads, peppermint and ka kaolin. I don't know what that is but I'll look it up and I'll put it 
along the screen now. And then other things include the hydrating serum which has peptides, COQ10 and hyaluronic acid in it. And then this one, the hydrating face moisturiser, again hyaluronic acid, macadamia nut oil and vitamin E. And I do think the clean new packaging with the rose gold writing is super sexy. I'm expecting good things from these products because I loved the mask. I put it on immediately and I was super impressed. So if you haven't checked these guys out before, maybe do check them out in the link below. I think they're really cool and they're going to be going places. Okay, something sexy up next from Givenchy Beauty. Uh, they sent me this tin and it says... This is not what you think. Okay, so what is it, Givenchy? Well, I opened it up straight away, obviously. And I've already removed some of the contents because I've tried these out and they're pretty cool. These are the new lipstick, Le Rouge Liquid from Givenchy. Um, it's a new style of lipstick. I'll show you what I mean. It comes in their classic packaging. A lot of their lipsticks do actually have this like leather and silver casing. You open it up and then there's a tiny, you can see on the top there. There's like a fluffy sponge applicator thing and then you twist and then out comes when it's ready. Out comes liquid lipstick. This isn't um, a matte liquid lipstick like a lot of liquid lipsticks. It's a very creamy, highly pigmented lipstick. I'll just rub it on the back of my hand. It does have a satiny formula. It's not drying um, and when I have worn them they do last a really long time and they feel super comfortable as well so that's new from Givenchy Beauty creamy texture semi matte finish satin like I said it basically they're saying that the formulation is made of like loads and loads of powders which gives it that really lightweight feel but also very very rich strong opaque pigments and it's the powders all sort of suspended in a lip balm sort of formula so hydration levels stay high it is a little bit gimmicky i'll give them that but you know if the color's right and it stays a long time then amazing i would say though with um the style of applicator if you did want that sort of precision lip you would have to use a matching lip liner because you're not going to get a very precise application with this type of um Casing. But if you're into the sort of like stained effect, um, which can look really cute, especially in the autumn time, I love like a berry stained lip, um, then that's fine. Just kind of like dab it on and smudge it out and it'll look beautiful. Stay a long time and also feel super comfortable. How much are they? So they came out in June this summer and they are priced at 28 British pounds. So this um, product I have used now for about, going on four years I think, um, it's a Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray, uh, retexturizing spray for beachy hair. I honestly can't remember a summer that went past and I didn't use this on my hair. It's just a salt spray but they've collaborated with Solid and Stripe which is a really nice boutique like bikini brand and they've come up with two, um, I only have one with me because the other one I've been taking all over the world with me and using, um, two new fragrance sea salt sprays for your hair. The one that I've got here is Malibu Beach, so it's like a tropical coconut scent. The other one was a floral scent, um, which is actually my favourite out of the two, that's why I've been using that one. So yeah, they've just got a new makeover and scents in this. Same original formula though, it does the same thing that it always has done. To use this, you basically just towel dry your hair so it's damp. Um, I, I always prefer to use it on damp hair. And then you just spritz it on quite generously, but not too much because you will, if you do overdo it, your hair can feel a little bit dry. Um, but just spritz it on. I'd say like mid lengths to ends and you should get like more texturizy beachy hair It works really well on um, wavy hair and it works really well on straight hair to just give it a little bit more texture You won't necessarily get beachy waves if you've got dead straight hair I'm um, just managing expectations here guys and for curly hair I actually wouldn't recommend it because I think it would be too drying So the guys at Too Faced Cosmetics have a new peachy launch. They're basically um, developed a little bit further their peach uh, range so you guys might know the Too Faced Peach Palette it's like a, a winner everyone loves it I've got it I use it quite a bit um, but they've developed the range a little bit more to incorporate more peachy makeup I have the Peach Blur here which is a translucent smoothing finishing powder Infu oh, all of this is worth mentioning is infused with peach and sweet fig cream so if you do have a sweet tooth and you like ooh, every time and you like your makeup product to um, smell quite sweet um, then you'll love this probably there's a mattifying loose setting powder as well let me just open it up you should see what the packaging looks like it is gorgeous very comfortable and collectible peach my cheeks this is a melting powder blush these are actually really cool i have used one of these already super cute packaging they basically just melt on the finger as soon as you touch them there you go 
That's a subtle one. This smells delicious actually. They don't smell too sweet. It is peachy, but it's not sickly, which I like. Here we've got the Comfort Matte Foundation. They really have developed this line. So this one is a Comfort Matte. It says it's a 14 hour formula. Photo friendly, smooth, flawless, um, and comfortable. Oil free as well, and shine free. So maybe someone with normal um, combination or um, oily skin. They also have in the range a Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer as well, just for extra longevity. So the guys at Darfan have increased their Lumiere Essential range with two products that they've kindly sent me. The first one is a mask and it's an instant purifying and illuminating mask and the second one is an illuminating micellar cleanser. This is really interesting. I mean, obviously people love micellar waters, but it, I think it's really strange that brands have started to use the term micellar in different styles of cleansers. I, I mean, to me, it doesn't really make any sense. A micellar water is a micellar water. A cleansing gel is a cleansing gel. Micellar gel, like, I don't know. So it feels like quite a thick consistency, like almost like an oil gel formula. I wouldn't say there's anything micellar about it at all. Like it's not lightweight in the slightest. <laughs> I've made a right mess of my hand. Ooh, this looks interesting. So I've just opened up the, the mask that they've sent. Um, so there's two steps in this. Step one, leave on for five minutes, rinse. Step two, leave on for five minutes, massage in excess. Says doesn't rinse, okay. Ooh. So you can see there, the detoxifying, purifying step is like a creamy cleanser, and then you've got a really like lightweight gel, and that goes on afterwards, and you actually leave that on, and that's the illuminating part of the mask. That looks really cool, I can't wait to try that. This is pretty cool, I think this is my favorite so far. So Lottie Tomlinson, who is a makeup artist, she has brought out Tanologist. I thought this was Tan Lux because the packaging is really similar. But she's done a few launches um, that are quite similar. She's done the, the self tan drops that everyone's doing at the moment. She's done the self tan water that everyone's doing at the moment. And then she's done an instant tan illuminator. 24 hour wash up body bronzer. They look super chic, but I don't know how they're gonna go. She says that her express tan products have zero streaks, transfer, or smell. Hyper real results and 100%. Glow control. I'll give it a shot. Neutrogena have ventured into the world of sheet mask. They have four different types. The detoxifier, the super hydrator, the illuminator, and the smart smoother. They're all designed in Korea. I'm actually loving the Hydra Boost range from Neutrogena right now. They sent me um, a package uh, about, I don't know, a month ago, two months ago, and such good formula, super lightweight for my skin as well, because I have like um, combination skin. It doesn't overload me, and they've been amazing for summer. Really, really, really good range if in the hotter months, because it doesn't overwhelm the skin, but I still feel like my skin is really, really hydrated, but not overloaded, doesn't clog pores. So I bet the Hydro Boost sheet mask will be a winner, but I'm also really looking forward to trying the detoxifier, which has seaweed extract in it. This launch makes me laugh because, I mean, it must be really tough working at Beauty Blender and figuring out how to make a new product. They've come up with the BBF, Beauty's Best Friend. Indeed, Beauty Blender is an incredible invention. I do have um, a few qualms about how expensive these are for what they are. They are quite literally sponges for applying your makeup. Now, yes, the design's genius, the way you run it under the tap, the way the makeup applies with this product, it's amazing. I've always got a sponge on the go in my beauty arsenal. However, the price is just astronomical, like, it's just a sponge, but anyway, whatever. They've come up with the beauty's best friend, so the idea is you buy this and then you can gift one to your best mate. It's a cute piece of marketing, but again, I think this costs about 35 pounds. Okay, so I don't know this brand at all. Kate Somerville. In fact, I know that Kate Somerville is a facialist. She's been around quite a long time. She's just launched a few products to market, including her goat milk moisturizing cream and her goat milk depuffing eye balm. Both made for sensitive skin. I really like this style of moisturizer. Airtight pumps basically means that no bacteria gets into your skincare. It keeps all of the ingredients fresher for longer because it's airtight and just the pumping mechanism means it dispenses exactly how much you need so none goes to waste. It's a really, really good idea. I love when creams come like this. She says that this is an AM to PM used twice a day, thin and even layer across the face and neck. This is probably what I'm more interested in. So this is literally, I've never seen anything like this before. This is quite cool. It's um, a twist up eye balm. 
Okay, that's good. I expected it to be super heavy, which is not necessarily good for the eye area, which is very delicate anyway, and you shouldn't overload the eye area. So this is a really, really lightweight, very, very silky eye balm. It says to apply directly to the eye area morning and night. It reduces puffiness and hydrates and reduces the appearance of crow's feet and dark circles to revive the delicate eye area. I products are one of these things, you know, it's really hard to like know results when it comes to eye products. You have to be using eye products for a really long time to even see any difference. And then saying that most of them don't actually change what you've got, they just maintain it so they don't age, which is why it's really important to start using an eye product as young as possible. Don't expect changes, just expect maintenance, that's what I always say. I have a really cool new launch um, in skincare from one of my favourite makeup brands. They are a luxury high-end makeup brand, but with good reason, their ingredients are second to none. There's 10 years in the making for this range as well, and I'm talking about the Detoxylin, Cellular Rose um, detoxylin range and I have three products here and I have already tried one of them which I will tell you about in a second but to, it's actually supposed to re replace your entire skincare routine um, so its focus is and it was 10 years in the making um, anti-pollution so it's basically designed to infiltrate the skin clean out all of the toxins and the micro metals particles that sit on our skin from city living detoxify cleanse at a deeper level and basically just renew as well there's four steps to the skincare routine I'll start with the mask I suppose and I used the city mask yesterday it's really really cool it comes out as like a white um, emulsion gel and then with a little bit of rubbing it reacts to the skin and it starts to like bubble and fizz and it's a really cool effect on the skin and I noticed actually in places where I have most congestion that's where it bubbled and fizzed up first and actually completely left the skin there was still some on my cheeks um, after about five minutes but yeah you can see it there and then they've also got this detoxifying aqua primer this is a sort of like hydrating tonic or toner um, that you would put on after cleansing your skin and before doing your serums and moisturizers and then also in the range is the alpine rose a detoxifying de defense cream so this is going to defend your skin from pollutions free radicals all the stuff that nasty stuff that your skin's exposed to because you live in a city and it's lightweight and it's also balancing so I'm really looking forward to using this because I've been told by my dermatologist I really need to cut back on the heavier hydrating stuff that's clogging my pores and use a lot lighter, more detoxifying textures on my skin. So I've got big, big hopes for the City Cream. There's also a serum in that um, detoxin range as well, which I don't have, but I'm gonna have to get probably. Oh no, I've got one more actually, and I just, I'm gonna talk about it because it came so beautifully wrapped from Fresh Cosmetics, an American brand. These people are really cool. I am obsessed with their lip balms, um, but their soy cleanser is a big cult product. People love it. Okay, so basically they're just celebrating their number one cleanser. It's the soy face cleanser. Um, it looks like it's had a little bit of a makeover with a limited edition packaging. It was first launched in 1999. God, so what, that makes it like 19 years old. What do you So yeah, they sent me a limited edition, extra large 200 milliliter cleanser. Oh my God, it looks so cool. My sister is obsessed with this stuff. I can't even tell you, she loves it. And then a little like headband thing. I wonder why so soy is so good for cleansing. But it does say that the multitasking formula works to tone, soothe and soften the skin for radiant, healthy looking complexion. Wet skin, massage over face and eyes, rinse. Fragrance and soap free. We are done with another month of new in beauty. Let me know what you think of all the products I talked about. Any of them jump out to you as being particularly interesting or something that you want to try, let me know. Um, it's really great to be able to share all of this, all of this stuff with you guys. Um, some interesting launches there. I definitely am excited about the Darfan two-step purifying and illuminating mask. I think the new Too Faced peaches and cream um, blushes look super cute. Excited to use them. Also, um, Dr. Roebuck's new rebranded skincare looks amazing. I love the turmeric mask, so I'm excited to try the rest of the range. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me again. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, make sure you do so you don't. Don't miss any videos that I send out. At the moment I'm doing really well, I'm managing to get a video out at least every week so yes! Thanks for joining me, as always I'll link everything down below in the description box and I'll see you back here on my channel again really really soon, bye for now.